You are listening to Rags to Resale, the podcast for career resellers or anyone who wants to amp up their online resale business the right way. Here are your Posh Pro experts, Megan Morris and Gemma Piscotti. Hey, Megan. It's been a while. Hey, we're back. We have been kind of busy, huh, with the holidays and Maddie moving to North Carolina. I know. I'm in North Carolina. I'm in this hotel. They're really friendly. They're really accommodating. The breakfast is a, like, that. you know how that, they have all those like laid out breakfasts that kind mm-hmm. of crappy. It's, they just high end that, which is a good idea. So the breakfasts mm-hmm. are delicious. So I'm very impressed by them. Good job. Okay. True by Hilton. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Well, actually, today I'm leaving for Wisconsin Dells. Ooh. I'm meeting Aria with doing the Dells. I have not been to the Dells since I was a kid, so I don't. Oh, know really? What to expect? Yeah. yeah. But we're staying at the Great Wolf Lodge. I'm just going for one night and a day. I love it. Um, and then next weekend we're going to Iowa City because uh, Katie, Eric's daughter, is turning 21. So we're going to go Hi. stay in a hotel out in Iowa City. I tried doing an Airbnb in Iowa City, and I was shocked at how expensive everything was in Iowa City. Airbnb. I've never seen it that high before. I think it's just inflation everywhere. But yeah, that Iowa City it doesn't sound like a destination spot. I mean. No, but then oddly enough, I saw a list recently of the top... 30 cities in the Midwest or something. Uh-huh. Iowa, City, Iowa City was at the top. Check yeah. it out. I know. I know. Anywho, so we're back at the Posh Pro Project. Oh, sorry. This is the Rags. We're Posh Pro Project, but this is our Rags to Resale podcast. You should have a little jingle. Rags to Resale. Oh, that. Yeah, we should definitely I'll record have a it. Don't worry I about love it. jingles. <laughs> We can have Aria uh, create it oh, for Of course, us. Aria. What was I thinking? <laughs> She's such a good singer. Okay, so we have had so much going on that we just had to pause everything. We've we've upended everything. Thinking of the Posh Pro project, it's kind of, it's, it's morphing into something yeah. else, basically. We've been we doing this for to. about a year now. We've been doing the, the we, we, we produced the e-courses that took us about six months and we've been promoting the e-courses for another six months and we're just not getting the sale levels that we wished we had, we would get. Yeah. Um, I personally think it's because people think they can get free content from YouTube, even though I have watched all those free YouTube uh, videos and what you're offering is way more, way more in depth um, on what they need to do to be successful at reselling. Yeah. Priced very fairly. I mean, $20 for a course, it's nothing that'll, you'll more than pay for that back after getting a sale from following what Megan's telling you to do. But because of that, we've decided to redirect the business. Yeah. And um, well, we started this whole thing because of the pandemic and because women needed to find ways to make money from home remotely. And so we've been evolving since 2020, since we started uh, on purpose, because really the whole goal. <laughs> Well, the main goal is to keep clothes out of landfills. The whole goal for women and remote workers is to f- give them an outlet and a place where they can come and talk to other resellers and see the trends, know what's going on in the community, find ways to source inventory cheaply. Uh, and so we've been interviewing people on here that are doing innovative things with resources, inventory, the bins, how to find things at the cheapest price so that you get your inventory quickly, cheaply, and then do it properly. You know, we've, we talked all on our courses, all about the algorithms and all of that. So we laid out ways for you to do this quickly and easily in the courses. So now that's done. So we, we just keep working to find ways for people to do this at the highest, most successful level they can. And invariably, the industry is changing. I mean, and it's changing rapidly because of the pandemic. It was, it ramped up quickly, thread up. All these places were making tons of money. 
Well, they're finding as we open back up and go back to shopping and thrift shops, et cetera, some are closing, some are showing, you know, poor sales. Poshmark has upended its algorithm to the point where it's, you know, having to show value to their, to new shareholders. And they're less concerned about how the sellers are doing because they need to show tons of newcomers coming in. So Mm -hmm. sales on Poshmark have been just steadily dropping abysmal. People are leaving the site. So I don't know, I don't know what they think they're accomplishing there, but we at Posh Pro Project are just here riding that wave of trends and trying to make sure everybody makes the most money possible. Now, there are new things coming up. Uh, you know, I've been talking to Britt Hatcher at Q Case Resale about whatnot. I joined there. There are live auctions. I'm very excited to start those. We're going to put up, you know, what we'll be talking about today, the mystery boxes, uh, uh, what we're calling them. And I'll hold on that. So, cause we're going to talk about that in a minute and we're going to do live auctions from just branding branded auctions. We're going to do shoe auctions. All that stuff is coming from posh. So posh pro. So we are doing all of this change. We've hired a new marketing department. They're helping us upend our website. So we've got so much going on, but it's all because of what the industry is, is demanding of us. I mean, well, I think it's important to mention that I think you and I really sat down and we came up with an intention of our business. And I think originally it was to, and it still is uh, to a degree to help women uh, be their own boss. Right. I think that was the intention of the e-courses. Um, but I think our overall intention is and mission of our business is to keep textiles out of landfills. Right. right? I mean, it's, it's, it's a bigger, it's a bigger issue. It's uh, it's a worldwide issue. So I think with that in mind, that's how we kind of came up with all these different ways to keep clothes out of landfills. And if we want to, um, you know, start talking about what our, our new direction is, you know, if you want to, I mean, well, one, we're, we, we kind of came up with this eco posh concept. Um, so we are still the posh Pro project, but underneath that umbrella is a segment of our business called eco posh and eco posh sells uh, boxes for resellers and for personal, personal use as well. So, yeah. um, I mean, if you just want a box full of, you know, size 10 women's clothing, we can do that as well, which is kind of like more like the subscription box style stitch fix, mm-hmm. you know, those things, but it is high end resale. Uh, we're not going to be throwing junk at people. We're not sending them, you know, a whole box of old Navy t-shirts well, this is, this is curated by resellers who know what sells. Chiefly right. me. Well, mainly and Megan. I mean, that's what yeah. we recognize that one of the best things Megan does is shop. She she knows what sells. So that is one of the reasons why this makes so much sense is that when you buy a reseller box from us, then that's going, that's going to be curated by Megan herself or another high-end reseller that already knows what's going to sell. So you're, you're getting quality products. You're not just getting random stuff, you know, like we could talk about our competitors, I guess, while they're great. And I think there's room for all of us, uh, just kind of what sets us apart. I mean, maybe you want to talk about the competitors in the mystery box, you know, it'll be like thread up, right. Is one of yeah. them. So thread up. You have very little say, well, first of all, they're rescue. So all of thread ups product that they get in, they first individually part and parcel out as an inventory Shopify style sell. So you've got, here comes a t-shirt, that t-shirt goes on thread up. Eventually they realize that that t-shirt has a stain on it. And so that becomes a rescue item. And that rescue item goes in a pile. And then when people order a rescue t-shirt box, that stained t-shirt or slightly ripped t-shirt or t-shirt that nobody's buying now for over a year on thread up and is down to price point or uh, it's been given up by their original owner. So ThreadUp owns this and they're not able to sell it. Owner 
that was going to get any percentage from it has given it up, donated it to ThreadUp. They ThreadUp also has stores all over the country that they are selling these items in bulk. And so they have this stuff that basically they have a pile as big as a landfill somewhere organized that they need to part and parcel out. So they're stuffing these boxes, these rescue boxes as fast as they can. And they're priced at, um, you know, a pretty good rate, but you're paying thread up. There's no way you're not paying at least $4 an item. The scarf box is the smallest box, the cheapest box they have, and you're getting scarves. So it's really, you know, a pile of scarves that probably don't need don't want you might get a good one once in a while and there that's the cheapest and you're getting paying about three dollars a scarf that price point isn't good enough for used and stuff that you know needs to be fixed the shoe box you pay about six or seven dollars a pair and you know you need to fix them there are rescue box you have to repair them that's it mm-hmm. Cozy threads, similarly, the jewelry box they have, their their prices are much higher than thread up. Most of the items are broken. You should, if you're buying a jewelry box, uh, I can confirm this. Our friend Darcy bought one. You should know how to repair jewelry. It's not worth getting it. Uh-huh. Well, box I bought was supposed to be all new with tags. It was definitely all lower end. Lots of Walmart brands and things. Now that being said, like Forever Twenty One. A lot of it sold. I mean, I, I, the Cozy Threads box did really well. I have most of it sold off. So that was worth it for $140. I, you know, probably have more than gotten my money back, but it wasn't like a huge boon. Okay. You know, realize you've got to list all this stuff individually. You're selling these boxes to someone that has to then take those items and turn them around and make money with them. And they're stuck with it. It's important to me that our Eco Posh boxes are things that will sell. They know they'll sell. And I want every single box to have one of those wow factors in it. Like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I got this. This one thing is worth the box. And if you are a reseller, you know that if you're curating mystery boxes, you can do this because you know that for every visit to the bins or visit to a good goodwill, you are going to find that one item that is worth Mm -hmm. more. Okay. As a reseller, resellers talking to resellers know that a mystery box should have in it something great. Now, besides the fact that I'm now going to the bins every single week to accomplish these eco posh boxes into the most beautiful, amazing pile of inventory you can possibly have. So it's really easy to make them amazing. Um, I have a Poshmark inventory sitting organized beautifully in a store, ready to go. I have over $300,000 worth of inventory. Now that's the price that I am offering it at it, not the price that it was originally priced at. So those regular prices are way beyond that. Mm -hmm. Three times as much. It's almost Mm -hmm. a million dollars worth of stuff. Mm -hmm. And there's no stains on it. There's no issues. I wouldn't allow that. Well, and then those items could be turned into DIYs. Yes. So then the things that do need to be repaired, we're going to have (laughs) two parties. Our first one is August 4th. If you go to at posh pro underscore Megan on, on Poshmark, you can buy these little supply boxes. They're 30 bucks. And on August 4th, we can, I'm still selling them for a few more days. Um, You get a little box of supplies, all the instructions, you get a some really nice garment scissors, a razor tool that's really cute, um, a whole little tape measure sewing kit. You get like a cardboard insert so because you need that for certain things. You get chalk to, to line it up and mark it off. And you get two pairs of jeans, right? So right. the two pairs of jeans are at least one pair of Levi's. And the right. other pair is not Old Navy. It's like- And you're, this particular DIY, you're turning them into distressed shorts? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fun. So question, because I was talking about this with our marketing person yesterday and what other type of DIYs could we do on these DIY zoom parties that we're offering? Oh yeah. So we can, we can do crop tops. We can uh, do tie dye. We can repair 
purses. So I could actually send out some super high end purses. Ooh, to I like that. That's pretty and we cool. We can do a beautiful repair job. So we can mm-hmm. earn uh, and and each purse that I send in every box, every individual purse that comes for the DIY will be something that once we do the repair will be worth a good bit of money. So you right. at the end of it, you're going to have more than the price of the box that you pay. Not only have a fun party with your friends from Poshmark and all the people that come on and, and we're going to work together to have this fun night. Everybody bring a glass of wine and have some fun after this Something coming afterwards party. to either sell or keep for yourself. Keep for yourself and wear. It's so fun. And you also learn how to do it. We're going to teach you how to, to be able to routinely search for, find the right pair of jeans that look good on top, but should probably be cut into distressed jeans. We're going to make them look amazing. We're going to talk about some other possible ways you can, you know, you can bleach dye these things. There's lots of things you can do to make them awesome and sell them for a much higher price. You know, if you run into a pair of orange tab jeans, but they're really grungy and dirty, which I have, I have a box of really beautiful 70s Levi's orange tab jeans that just need zippers that I need to go deal with, you know? So there's Mm -hmm. lots of things that you can find and repair and make beautiful. I just sold a Bally's gorgeous purse the other day that all it really needed was some just some touch up brown leather paint. I paid $4 mm-hmm. for it and I sold it for $225. Yeah, now, I really think that's cool. I think that'll be a cool one uh, repairing the, uh, the purses. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's so yeah. fun. And I really love it. Like it's not just some of these courses that we were reviewing before we did our courses. They're obviously just guys that decided to expand their courses that just really sell like tires on eBay, but decided they needed to figure out Poshmark and they don't have a passion for it. They're not Mm -hmm. a passionate clothing reseller. You Mm -hmm. need someone like me who not only knows that you can make money doing this. So I feel like you should learn it, but really, really loves doing it. I mean, I know how to do it and know all the little tricks and, and tips that I can teach you. And I love it. So we'll have so much fun doing it together. And then another area of uh, the thrifting that we want to get into is, you know, there's those uh, clothing subscription boxes like uh, Stitch Fix and whatnot, but thrift clothes. So you're getting like used vintage clothing, but again, curated, high quality and much less expensive. I did one of those. I think it was called Stitch Fix. It was something else. But um, every item was like $70, $90, $120. Right. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I wouldn't even spend this much money if I was shopping for myself out. So yeah. um, right now, I think we're going to start small. We weren't even going to do a subscription. We were just going to do a box of 10 items mm-hmm. in one size for $100. So basically, every you know, it's $10 an item. And again, each of those items could be worth way more than that in reality. So I think that's a really cool thing that we're going to offer too. Yeah, no, it's going to be great. Everything. I I mean, I can guarantee you that everything in there is going to be worth way more than what they're paying. I get the appeal of subscription and for Stitch Fix, it's great because you kind of forget about it. I did it. I'm still paying Stitch Fix. I, in fact, I've tried to cancel it 50 times. I don't know no, what I, I know. Called. It was very difficult for me to cancel uh, the one that I have. So yeah. Well, and so I didn't sign up for myself. I did briefly and then I canceled that. I signed because the clothes weren't even really there. They're sort of second tier forever 21 mm-hmm. clothes, mostly. Mm-hmm. The clothes that Riley got though. They have stitch kids. Kids. Yeah. Oh, so she I really that. loved getting her little box. And so I let her keep it and I'd still, it I is keep- fun. It's yeah. exciting. You know, you get these yeah, clothes, really you try them, them on and, and yeah. uh, so but I half the time, you know, they weren't something that I would normally wear. It wasn't my style. I sent back a lot of stuff and you know, that's going to happen. We're not, you, you know, send it even- back because it's too expensive. It's like this brand of jean you've never heard of. Maybe it fits okay or looks okay, but for $125, literally every time the box comes, I tell Riley, just, I don't know why that's still coming. Pick something that's 20 bucks because you have to pay the 20, right? Right, 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 right. The last time it came last month, I wasn't there when the box showed up. She got all excited because it says stitch fit kids all over it. And she took it upstairs, opened it, picked a few things. I didn't even notice because there's so many 
garments moving through our system at my house at any mm-hmm. given time. Mm-hmm. Me, um, I didn't notice there was new things. And the box of stuff that needed to be returned just sat in her room for over a month. And they eventually charged me $280, $300, because I didn't know there was a box in my house of junk. So that's what they're hoping for. <laughs> that, that mm-hmm. versus, and I still haven't dealt with it. So they have my $300. And right. I don't even know what I bought. So, you know, I don't want to do that to people. <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. I want them to like the thing, be able to return, you know, things if we did a subscription and, you know, it be all things that they can sell and not cost a fortune. Well, even this is for people that don't want to sell that just somebody for that. They want personal, their own clothes. We could also do the same thing where we're kind of, I'm just kind of uh, brainstorming myself right now. Like the the boxes that we have for the resellers, the the accessory ones, like the jewelry or the purses, the consumer could also purchase for themselves as well. You know? Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Any of that's possible because what comes in the box is very, is succinctly laid out. You're not, you know, while you'll be surprised by some exciting brands or some really cool items that you're going to be like, oh my gosh, this is so fun to get. It's like getting a gift in the mail. Right. You're not going to be going, well, what the hell am I supposed to do with this? Because, right. you know, obviously anyone that's bought any kind of mystery box knows there's going to be a few things thrown in there that you can't, you just can't do anything with because mm-hmm. they need to fill the box. I'm not going to do that. It's not to say that someone individually might not like something that I've sent because we have different tastes, but it's going to sell for you mm-hmm, mm-hmm. because I know the trends and I know what's selling because I'm selling every single day and I'm right. shopping to sell. So. Well, I'm excited. I'm excited for our new direction, you know, and then some uh, other smaller things that we're going to be doing uh, this week. We took from cozy was a great idea. Cozy does this. They do it on the East coast uh, mainly. So Anything that they can't sell or don't sell or whatever, they, I think, work with a manufacturer that then recycles the materials to create a new material to make clothing out of, which I think is just so cool and really, really excites me about our mission. You know, it's just like everything gets reused. Well, this is a new avenue of our industry. There's a lot of designers now that exclusively use recycled textiles and um, kudos to them for that because it it is a lot harder to be certified as a B Corp that is holistically good in the industry. It's very- Cozy is a B Corp, right? Was that- uh, Helpsy, Helpsy, their parent company is a B Corp. Oh, Helpsy, right, right, right. Okay. Yes, yeah, it's so cool. very difficult. It's it's like they deserve to have a big old statue in their somewhere in their buildings for being a B Corp. It takes so much effort to mm-hmm. be wholly clean and good as in this industry because you know polyester is bad inherently and causes Mm -hmm. problems in the environment and the polyester. I never buy it. And it's hard not to have it in something all the time, Mm -hmm. you know? So, you know, to be able to recycle those clothes and uh, not create more polyester (laughs) that is clogging the earth and hurting the air and ruining the water um, is so difficult and just so impressive. And, you know, you need to give, uh, you know, the Patagonias and the Eileen Fishers of the world, so much respect that they do that because they don't have to, you know, mm-hmm. nobody, nobody yells at Gucci for not, and doesn't buy Gucci for not being careful with their, the, the way that they create their products, you know? So it's just not really anything that's too frowned upon or looked at. And our industry is the only industry that is forcing it down their throats that they have to do better and they Mm -hmm. will do better because of people like us. And we need to, you know, shine a bright, ugly light on what they're doing to our earth before it's too late. You know, Mm -hmm. we don't have a hundred, 200 years down the road to, to fix this problem. We've got like 10, like a 10. Right. Well, you know, I I remember being in college as a side story. I was in college and I was taking this what was that class? Anywho, the teacher was telling us then, I mean, this is 20 
years ago easy, right? I was telling they us, knew. Everyone knows. Oh, yeah. He said he already, he was already, listen, what's going to happen is we're going to run out of oil. There, and then what'll happen is they'll, they'll increase the prices because we're getting short on whatever. And then Diamond. we'll, <laughs> you know, they'll, they'll make the price so high. And then once that is totally used up, then they'll make it really expensive to utilize the alternative, which is, you know, whatever the electric car, whatever it is, you know, it's all a money game for them. It's, 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 there's just so many ways that this planet has been destroyed. We are literally destroying it, but it's sad. It's really sad. Yeah. So this is something we have to deal with in our lifetimes. And, uh, you know, sometimes it feels too big. I know that feeling um, for lots of, you know, won't get into politics, but politically, you know, governmentally, uh, socially, there's so many things in this world that feel too big um, that you just kind of look away and try not to look at it and just buy what you like and um, wear what you want. And I, I beg people to just look at it a little harder. You know, and, know. and and it is hard. You know, I've been trying to be on this eco path. My mother has been this way for since yeah, I was young. You're, and you're a good citizen, Gemma. You know, you try and recycle. You try and buy things that aren't tested on animals. You try and do all this stuff, and you do. You get to a point sometimes where you're just like, if nobody else cares, why do I care? I mean, I what am I really doing? But Be the care. truth is, is that one person at a time is making a huge difference. And you just got to keep trying and, or just make it a lifestyle. I mean, that's, that's really what you need to do is, is, is make it so that it seems just normal for you. It's not something that is that difficult. I mean, I have a paper bag underneath a counter here that I put my recycling in, you know, it's not anything major, you know, or I don't know. There's just ways to do things. Try to do your part and it's all we can do. Mm -hmm. Um, but, and, and getting into this reseller industry has just been really eye-opening for me, you know, because I used to definitely buy fast fashion. That's what I did. I sure. would buy lots of clothes. They wouldn't last very long. They'd last a year, two years, maybe. They'd fall apart. And then I'd go back, you know, and, and get some more crap. And now I, it's like, Ooh, it hurts me when I'm like, at a so store when and you're I'm like buying, I when you buy that, that stuff and you don't throw it away for two years, you took too long because they guesstimate that you're going to throw it out within this is wear and toss fashion, you know, mm-hmm, so there's mm-hmm. some, you're going to throw it out within months. And that's why they, they say they can make more and more and more. And they create new crap every year that they don't need to create. Crazy. And cause all this devastation in our on our mm-hmm. globe for what? There's a mm-hmm. huge tear in the ozone over Australia. Do you know that half of the population just gets cancer there? I mean, this is we're killing people because we we can't yeah. give up crappy clothes. I mean, this is insane. Well, this is life totally, is how the era, you know, the two, the generation before, whatever, that's the clothing that the, this generation wants to wear, you know, it's like Let's go get that the whole vintage <laughs> thing has always been a thing. It's just, you know, vintage is just different each time we go forward. So I know. it's like so now the 80s. The thing. We have to find a way to keep the price point of the real 90s. stuff down. Isn't the 90s in right now? The 90s look? 90s is so huge. <laughs> yeah. So if we can keep the price point of the real 80s and 90s clothes that are stuffing our landfills and our thrift shops keep the price to a point where it's just as cheap as fast fashion that's copies of that thing why mm-hmm. wouldn't you buy the real thing right real stuff that's actually right. better 100 cotton beautiful clothing get that then you can say this is the real stuff this is vintage right instead of oh this is a knockoff from Shein. you know mm-hmm. i paid two dollars for it who wants to tell that story not me mm-hmm. you know? It took six months to get over here from China and it's crap and it smelled (laughs) bad. I had to wash it four times because, you know, it's got formaldehyde all over it so that the rats don't eat it in the boat on the way over. (laughs) I want that thing on my body. So it's just so stupid. 
just do it right the I first know. time. You know. Well, well let's um, let's uh, just recap really quick what's coming up uh, soon. You okay. got your DIY Zoom party is when August fourth. August fourth. Sign up. And they can sign up on your on your Poshmark closet at yes, poshpro or- underscore Megan. Yes. Right. Or if you jump over to the YouTube channel and watch this on YouTube, I can, I'm putting it up right now. So you can see, you can just grab the, the Q reader or it's in the links below the YouTube channel on in common. Okay. okay. And that's August 4th. At what time? It is at seven o'clock Eastern. Eastern time. You get a zoom link and just join uh, the zoom link. And so that's 6 PM central standard time. Yes, ma'am. Great. And then we're on whatnot. We're coming up on whatnot. I am my um, ability to go live on whatnot is in flux currently because oh, it, takes, okay. it takes a long time to be approved. And now cute case, she recommended me. However, she does that. So it should take less time, but we're going to, the second we get going on whatnot, I'm going to be all over that you guys telling you guys everything that you need to know to get on there. Oh, and that's another thing that we're going to do. Such great things are coming. Our, our, our new website is being developed right now. We're going to have a little boutique area where we're going to sell all of the, the same stuff that you basically have on Poshmark, right? But we're going to have in our own little boutique, which we won't have to pay fees to another the big Poshmark, corporation. Yeah. Well, we won't um, have to pay fees. Our prices will be better because we won't have to be paying 20% right. of Poshmark. So the prices will actually be better on our site uh, right. for the consumer. And shipping will be cheaper and all that good stuff. So it's the same great products, better pricing. Right. So exciting. So exciting. And uh, so whatnot is coming up. DOI party. Our new website's going to be launched soon. We are so excited about all of our new things coming up to share with you. And we're just so happy that you join us here at Rags to Resale podcast. Um, And uh, we appreciate you guys. Yeah. Keep, keep doing it. Keep, keep shopping. We got you. Got you. Bye. Tips, live events, contests, celebrity appearances. Don't miss a moment. Follow Posh Pro Project on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Subscribe on YouTube and check out our e-learning courses for resellers at poshproproject.com.